What is going on guys? PXCam20 back in with a brand new video. We are here at Dragon Trails, the Garden Edition for our Manufacturer Cup race. As you can see, we are in a Mercedes SLS AMG, the Group 4 Edition. As uh, we are starting here with two other Mercedes. Coming to the race, not feeling too confident on this race as uh, Mercedes hasn't been the best car on this track. Been struggling a lot with the handling as the Renault, the Subarus, and I believe the Lexus and the Alphas have been performing really good on the practice races as they've been able to uh, skillfully go around this track very very fast as we've been struggling to uh, try to at least hit the 138s on this racetrack in the Mercedes so uh, but if we could come out of here with a good finish and ahead of the other Mercedes I'm, I'm gonna be very happy uh, to do so as we come into the points so jumping into the points you can see that first place would get 233 if we're able to get there but I feel like we're going to be around the 5th to 10th place area, so if we could get 204 points, I mean, I'm not, that wouldn't be too shabby there as we uh, jump up into the qualifying. So before we jump into the qualifying, if you guys haven't yet, we're trying to reach 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year, so if you guys really enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel when you guys do so. Anyways, that's enough promoting myself, let's jump straight into qualifying. So coming into qualifying, you see we're right behind one of the other Mercedes as we come down the straightaway. Finishing our first flyer lap, we got a 139.9. Didn't feel really good about that lap, so we decided to go again to do a second flyer as we're coming towards the final two corners now. We're right behind the Mercedes now, so we're going to see if he can give us a slipstream and give us a good tow as we head down the straightaway again. Coming down to the line, what are we going to get? We get a 139.5. Good enough to get a 13th position finish, but uh, you can see there's a lot more other cars that had to finish the qualifying. And that demotes us down all the way to 17th position as we uh, jump up into the warm-up screen now. So coming to the warm-up screen, you can see that all three of the Mercedes are actually right next to each other as we are all going to be starting in the back of the pack. So that's going to be really, really fun when we go into the race. Now, jumping into the intro here, the strategy for the race was basically try to be as smooth as you can and avoid mistakes as there really wasn't a strategy since it was only a one-compound race. The one compound that was primarily used was going to be the mediums and the tire wear and the fuel consumption wasn't really that much of a factor so it's going to be a no stop here as we are going to try to just make our way through the pack and try to get as best of the finish as we can uh, hopefully we can get a top 10 as we come into the race so jumping into the race right here we're getting the countdown as we come out of the final corner now heading down the straightaway here we're right behind the mercedes as we try to get into a slipstream right here fast forwarding into lap number uh, turn number one Coming to the first chicane for the first time here, you can see that 16th and 15th are almost making contact with each other as we head into the second part of the chicane. Two cars actually make contact ahead of us as uh, 15th is now starting to get overtaken by the Mercedes ahead of us, so that's not good for us as we're going to try to be the best finishing Mercedes as we come down into the straightaway now. Coming down to the straightaway, we're still right behind the Porsche as we're going to break as late as we can heading into this left hander here. The Porsche gives us a ton of room there as we try to make a move onto the inside, make a little bit of contact with the Porsche. He almost spins out. I do try to make a move to the inside. He tries to force us down, tries to drive us off the road. And uh, going back to the move here, you can see that he just gives us a ton of space. And me being the driver I am, I mean, if you give me the space of Antarctica, I'm going to have to go for the move there. As you can see, he gives us a ton of space and then decides to cut us off. So not sure why he got mad at us again. As you can see, he just drives us off down into the inside there as he tries to ram us off the road. So I can tell he's a little angry there. So I decided to back off into the move as we head into the S's here coming into the left-hander now so jumping into uh, lap number two now as we're heading down the straightaway we're still right behind the Porsche as we come into uh, turn number one here coming into turn number one we're trying to gain as much time as we can on the Porsche ahead of us as you can see now the Mercedes that we're fighting against is up into 14th place so not good for us as we are heading into the first uh, second time into the chicane coming through the chicane now we try to clip the apexes as best as we can and we gain a ton of time on the Porsche as we come out of the, ape, uh, the, the chicane there. It's coming down to the straightaway. Coming down the straightaway again, we're in the slipstream of the Porsche. And again, he gives us a ton of room there. So we try to make a move onto the inside. But he cuts us off there. Does the exact same move that he did on the lap previous. And we have to back out of there so we avoid contact with him as we head back into the S's now. So coming to the S's, we are still right behind the Porsche as we're going to have to find another way to get around him there. It's right there, he just gives us too much room and decides to just cut us off whenever we try to make the move there is um i mean i don't know maybe i'm just driving a little too aggressive i mean if i am just let me know in the comments down below if i'm being too aggressive when uh 
try to make that move and uh, like I said I'll try to be a little less aggressive when I go into those turns. As we're coming down into the straightaway now after we finish the, the four right corners there is uh, kind of reminds me of Istanbul. Uh, the left handers there. Uh, we're heading down into the final corners now. Break right before the 100 meter boards. We head into the two left handers here. Trying to gain as much time as we can on the Porsche as we head down the straightaway, leading us into lap number three. So, jumping up into lap number three, we're heading to the chicane again. Clip the apex again. Clip the apex, uh, the second apex once more. And you can see that 14 and 15 actually make a little bit of contact as the car ahead of us actually has a penalty there as we come down the straightaway. Fast forwarding here, we try to break as late as we can again. And you can see there's cars side by side as we come into this corner now. And we get a great exit there as we're actually catching up to them as we jump into the end of lap number three. So coming to end of lap number three, we're heading to the two corners now. And we're trying to make a move onto the inside of the Porsche, but he cuts us off again. And we uh, follow them behind them as we come down the straightaway into turn number one. Coming to turn number one, we're heading into this chicane again. As you see, we're starting to get pressure from the inside. The Toyota actually makes a move onto the inside of the Porsche. As we try to make a move there, but we have to back out of there as he was going to run into the... He's going to cut us off again. We're going to run into the back of him as we come back into the straightaway again. The Porsche is having his brake lights on. Not sure what that's about as we uh, head into the left-hander again. We try to make a move onto the inside of the Porsche. And finally, he gives us the space as we're able to make the overtake now. Or actually, we're not able to make the overtake as we're now heading side-by-side side as we're going into the S's now. We're right behind the Toyota as we're going side-by-side side heading to the first part of the S's. We have to give up the position there as we are not going to be able to make it side by side as we head into that right hander and into this left hander here. Make a little bit of contact with the Porsche as we're still trying to get around him heading into the four right corners here. Coming to the four right corners that resemble Istanbul. We're trying to gain as much time as we can there as we are trying to get back to the throttle as best as we can without heading wide. You can see the train of cars that's ahead of us as everyone's just fighting for position there but uh, the leaders are actually starting to pull away from us if you see the mini map on the top right as we head into the final two corners breaking right before the 100 meter board we're still right behind the Porsche there as they're actually backing up and we almost get overtaken by the Mercedes he's trying to make a move onto the outside right behind us and you can see the train of cars are still there as we, they all snake into the inside the Porsche doesn't go along with the McLaren as we're going to make a move onto the inside we stay behind the slipstream of the McLaren and the Toyota as we're going to head into turn number one and we're able to make the overtake on the Porsche heading down the straightaway, leading us into turn number one. As we stay now right behind the McLaren, the Porsche is starting to gain time on us as he's moving on to the outside. We're going to defend on the inside as we head into the chicane now. And we're able to hold it there as we hold 16th position away from the Porsche as we're now trying to make a move on to the outside of the McLaren. But he's able to get a good apex there. As you see, the Toyota ahead of us actually gets very, very loose, almost loses it there as we head down the straightaway now. Coming down to the straightaway, we try to break as late as we can. Heading into this left-hander here. You can see there's a car that gets punted out wide. As we're right behind the McLaren and the Toyota. Coming to the replay now. Let's see what happened here. The Subaru just kind of outbreaks himself. And rams into the Mercedes. And there goes our fellow Mercedes competitor. Out of the race there as you can see. Now we're able to overtake him. And now we are the best performing Mercedes in the race in 15th place. Not many times you can say that as we come into the S's. Now. Finishing the S's here, we're still right behind the Toyota as we're just going to try to stay right behind them and hopefully make a move onto them as we come into the chicane um, in the next lap there. As we come into uh, lap number six now, you see we lost a lot of time to the Toyota and the McLaren ahead of us. The McLaren actually makes a move on the inside of the Subaru as we come into the chicane. We're actually getting pressure from behind now as we come into the third part of the chicane. We actually clipped the, the little sausage curves right there. We go on two wheels as uh, Subaru actually gets very very wide almost loses it there and the McLaren now has a what is that a five tenths of a second penalty as you can see we're gaining a ton of time on the McLaren now we make the overtake of the McLaren but we're going three wide as we head into this left hander here back out of the move there as you see the Porsche is making a move onto the inside we give him the position there as we try to make a cutback on the Subaru now going side by side with the Subaru as we head into the S's are we going to be able to make it through we actually back out of the move there as we let the Subaru ahead of us heading into the S's he clips the grass a little bit as we come into the right hander the left hander now so coming to the left hander now we're trying to make a move again onto the inside of the Subaru as we head into the four right corners we're on the outside though but the Subaru backs out of the move there as uh, he lets us go through so we're heading into the four right corners now and we set our sights on the Porsche ahead of us as we come out of the four right hand corners leading us into the straightaway now so Jumping up into lap number eight, we're heading into the chicane. You can see the Toyota ahead of us has gone wide as the Porsche actually makes the overtake on the Toyota there. We're catching up to the Toyota now as we're coming down to the straightaway, going right behind the slipstream as him as we jump up into lap number nine. 
We're still trying to catch up to Toyota ahead of us. It's 13 and 14. They're going side by side, going to the chicane. The McLaren now is right behind us as he's on our back bumper now. As you see, the Toyota actually makes contact with the Aston Martin. The Aston Martin gets past the Toyota and we're able to make a move there. But the McLaren actually gets a better uh, exit there as he actually makes the overtake on us heading down the straightaway. And we have to give him the position there as we didn't have any momentum there to fight for that position as we jump up into lap number 10. So jumping up into lap number 10, you see the Aston Martin actually goes a little bit wide. He clipped the inside curve. Goes very, very wide as we head into the chicane now. We're catching up to him as we come into the chicane. Try to get a good apex coming into the first one and to the second apex. Clip the third apex without hitting that sausage curve and we get a good exit there. As you see, there's the yellow flag in the car to the left of us. As we are past, get past him now, heading down the straightaway. Let's see what happens to him as he just gets very, very wide, spins out and collects the alpha there. As uh, we jump up now down the straightaway as we get past him, the alpha actually has a two second penalty. So. Very, uh, miss, uh, very unfortunate for him as we come into the left hand here. He kind of cuts off the McLaren there. As now we have a four car train heading us into the S's as we come into the end of lap number 10. So coming to the second sector now, we are still in the S's here as we're right behind the Aston Martin. We're gonna try to get a good run so maybe we can try to make a move onto the inside of him as we come into the right four right hand corners here. He goes a little bit wide, loses the momentum coming out of the exit of that left hander there as we're gonna try to make a move into the inside. We give him a little bit of a bump Force our way into the inside now. We make a little bit of contact as we come into the right-handers now. Keep it as close to the inside as we can. And we're able to make the move as we come down into the straightaway, leading us into the final two corners. We switch our brake biases to a zero. So we're going to try to brake as late as we can, heading to the two left-hand corners. Defend our position. Defend the apex there. And we're able to make 12th place up as we set our sights, up, uh, set our sights now on 11th and 10th as we come down the front straightaway. So... Now let's see what's going to happen here as we have two cars right behind us and they're in our slipstream as we're coming down the straightaway now. We switch our uh, brake biases to the rear so we're going to head to the first corner now. Coming to the first corner, the car right behind us actually getting a ton of time as us. As you can see, 11th and 10th are still fighting side by side as they're heading into the chicane. We're going to see if the car behind us is close enough to make a move, but he's not. So we just go into the chicane, uh, we'll take our normal line now. So we clip the second apex of the chicane, clipping the third apex now. Try to get a great exit there as we see the uh, the car right ahead of us has to serve his penalty. We move on to the outside just to make sure that we don't get uh, run into the back of him in case if he unghosts himself out of the penalty zone as we are uh, heading into the left-hander now. Coming to the left-hander, we're starting to get pressure from the outside there as we try to defend our position on the inside. And we're able to do so there as you can see the car right behind us on the mini-map got pushed a little uh, backwards. As you can see, we're heading to the S's now. So... Now we just gotta clip the apexes as best as we can as we head into the S's, heading to the final corner of the S's. It's gonna lead, as it's gonna lead us into the four right-hand corners there. We're gonna try to defend the inside there as he's trying to make a move into the inside. He goes into the outside as we try to break as late as we can. He makes a little bit of contact with us, and we're going side by side now as we head into the two four uh, four right-hand cor corners there. We make contact there as we're coming out of there, and he's actually got a better momentum than us as we head down the straightaway. We're going to try to see if we can try to stay onto the inside of him as we head into the two left-handers. But he's got too much of top end speed. He cuts right ahead of us. We break as late as we can. He actually breaks later than us, makes contact with the Toyota. And we're going to try to make a move onto the inside here as we come into the final corner, heading down the straightaway. Are we going to be able to make an overtake on him as we try to stay right behind him down the slip stream? But we are unable to as we're going to finish in 12th as uh, we cross the start finish line. And we get a 12th place position, so from 17th to 12th. Not too shabby as we. this is probably the worst track for the Mercedes now. And uh, as you can see right here, we actually were the top performing Mercedes as we finished in 12. So very proud to be the top performing Mercedes in this lobby. But again, a little disappointed in finishing in 12. But uh, I wasn't expecting much again as the Mercedes is just not that good on this track. But happy to make up five positions there as we did start at 17th. So um, at least we can leave away with some positive on this race. So. Uh, anyways, if you guys really enjoy the content, again, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video as it really helps out the channel when you guys do so. And I uh, hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace out.